hi in this video we are going to discuss that how to retrieve uh, the uh, HTML form data using JSP so let's get started so here is my Eclipse I have created a web project and if you do not know that uh, how to use Eclipse uh, for writing uh, JSP pages then watch my previous video and uh, I'm using Apache Tomcat server, so that video will explain you everything that how to configure Apache web, uh, Tomcat web server with your Eclipse. So I have just created a, a new project with the name new web project and the step is like this, go to new and from here select dynamic web project and then just provide it a name and it will create a new web project and I have added a file uh, which is index.jsp and that can be just added by right clicking and new and JSP file so just add a file so this is the default content of the file I am creating a form inside uh, uh, this page so let me create a form And here I need to mention method and action attributes. So action is the link or the page where I want to submit my form. And uh, there are two methods, get and post. So this is the mechanism to send your data from client to server. So I'm using here get by default if even you do not mention it uh, then it is get and uh, action is the page on which I'll be submitting this data so that will be uh, an another JSP script which is form data.jsp this page I've already created by just right clicking on this project folder so this is the form tag by which I can create a form and I can mention various uh, fields into this form so let me consider some fields username so input type equals to let's keep it text let's give it a name you name let's use br tag for going to the next line email for this we can take input type equals to email password input type equals to password and it should be name as email let's keep it pwd so this is a password field let me take uh, two radio buttons gender input type equals to radio and let's keep a text just at the end to this which is mail give it a name gender and we can have a value associated with this and the value that we are providing to this is M and let's take another radio button here and it is for female 
value will be different and here the name has to be same because they will belong to the same radio button category so we'll give break after this br is for providing gap line break and then hobbies for hobbies we'll be taking check boxes input type equals to check box and name the first hobby is reading let's give it a value reading and let's place a text adjacent to this which is reading let's define another hobby which is with name writing and let's give it name writing value writing and uh, let us define one more hobby others and here value is others So this is some uh, of the fields that we are putting on our form, our form. and uh, let's define a submit button. Input type equals to submit name. submit value sbt and no text here let's keep it a br tag so let's just have a look that how our form is uh, looking like so for that we need to run this uh, page so just right click here run as run on server has been modified but is still open elsewhere with identical changes so let's cancel it and first save it reopen it let's run it on the web server it is a starting web server here web server is a starting and it is running on the default browser so this is the way our form is looking like so we can uh, make it better uh, we can add some alignment to this and can keep this uh, data into some uh, table or div to keep this alignment but let's now uh, understand that how we can display the data that we are entering on some other page with the help of a JSP script so here you can see that after submission of a page is going uh, so it is asking that this has to be an email a valid email test at the rate com.com and here we can specify some of the hobbies so still the data is not being displayed only what uh, is being displayed here that is just the username so how to get this data on some other form on some uh, other page so for that we have just defined a script 
which is form data dot JSP. How to read the data which is coming from another JSP? For that, we have a built-in function which is get parameter, and uh, JSP has nine built-in objects which are the part of uh, JSP service method, and with the help of request uh, object. We can read the values of different parameters which are coming to this script. So here you can see that uh, what are the different uh, fields from where we are getting value. We have username, uname, email, password, gender, and uh, these some of the hobbies. So there is reading, writing, and others. So. Let's just get their values. So this is the name that is being displayed. Let's use br and let's read other values as well. We want to display here next email. For that we need to get parameter email. Next, we are displaying value here password. Next field is password and it's having name PWD. This is just repeating. After password, we have gender. And then we have hobbies. So here you can see that for hobbies we have defined uh, here three chat boxes. One is for reading, another one is for writing, and then others. So we need to fetch these values separately, and uh, even we can write that which are the just null fields not carrying any value. But uh, for the time being, we are just displaying the values of these uh, parameters. So for that. First, we are getting that uh, whether reading is checked or not, and in the same way, we have to read the values of other hobbies as well. So, it is for reading, writing, and others. So this is the script which will read the data from index.jsp and let's refresh this page. Let's enter some of the values. CMS is com email test at gmail.com password test one two three four five gender mail hobbies reading and writing and let's submit it so here's some error all right uh, so the reason why we are getting this error is due to we have placed uh, this text outside this uh, JSP so uh, we cannot directly place the text here because this is the Java code so whatever we have to write here should comply with the uh, Java conventions of writing code so if you want to place it uh, here then we need to make it as a string and then we need to concatenate this string in the same way I am doing all of this. 
so br tag also needs to be uh, removed from here and i have placed uh, all the uh, string information inside this out.println and i am concatenating this so let me just execute this let me refresh it okay so the entire information is being placed here gms wishcon email test password gender and and hobbies reading writing and the last one is null so we can just check it whether if the value which is coming to the user is null in that case it should not get displayed so that's it for this session thank you